as he does the takeover. You can't stop us. <laughs> anything, 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 anything. We do what Dons do. Longest name, anything. Come on, I shut the whole thing out here. Another week, I've got a call up, so so far, so good. I don't want to be anywhere else. Good morning, bro. What are you saying? Timekeeping's a problem with you, isn't it? Bro, I've been here for time, bro. Where you been? Bro, I've been here when Saul got here. I've been here when. I've been here. No, but I've been here. Oh! Go on, go on! Bro, what are you saying, man? Made it. Yeah, man. Cool. Creature as well. Zach as well. Zach as well. JJ as well. That's Chris. And Sil as well. Yeah, this, is a, this is a mad squad. <laughs> you are playing, right? Mad in what? Mad in what? Goals, isn't it? Goals and, and flair, isn't it? He's talking about Zach. What about the rest of us? I'm talking about you as well. Mad is at the X1s right now. He's playing apparently. Don't leave your stuff in here, boys. Hard times in it, isn't it? Huh? Leave me hard times. If Mads is close, oh, oh, it's not what I want it. Yeah. Right. And that's no geek and for today. Hard times. <laughs> I didn't say that. How strong can we be? One has to go, and you can only keep one. Mirror skills. You either can look in the mirror or you can use the skills to weigh yourself. One has to go. DFC shit. Say so, bro, worry about the weighing, in it. Fuck the mirror off. He's a fat boy. Mirror or skills, one has to go. What? Oh, scales, I don't weigh myself. I'm so you keep the mirror? Yeah, 100%. Quick one, yeah? yeah. One has to go and you can only keep one. Go on. Mirror or scales? Keep the scales, bro. We're fighting men. We're fighting men. What do you need a mirror for? To look at yourself. You need scales. Stand on the scales, see if you're in fighting shape. Scales for me, bro. So, mirror or scales, one has to go. Mirror, I guess. I respect it. <laughs> Scott, you said mirror. I see Don's Bickley. We shared the dance floor with them many times. You're not gonna be so much, just give it up. We've had our ups and downs with them. Yes! Welcome to the jungle, Toby. Come and get it. But I would say that we've actually grown some respect for each other now. So yeah, pre-season game number two will be a good test for the boys. But also listen to what the family say. We always see comments in it. Every time we bring a new player, oh why, why are you signing people people? Why you don't why why don't the old boys play anymore? It's football, innit? it? It's football and it grows. What if I told you the old boys don't wanna play? Do you understand? Because they're getting old, they got things going on. But yeah, that's what we've done today. So instead of bringing people in, we brought Mad B up to the first team. We've got Mr. Wackett back. But we've also got Brad Tastic back now and we're getting ourselves prepared for the season. Once he's back this season. So everything is looking good. Everyone's focused. I was just saying as well, this was, this was the last time we saw Ryan Dolby, man. Dolbos, what a club legend. One of the best to ever do it for the Dons. But he got injured on this very pitch against Bickley. And we never really, he never really managed to come back from that. So yeah, big up Dolbos. It's Dolby's through and goal. Can he tuck away his lunchbox? Can he keep his composure? Ah! A coach of your calibre can get a player like Mad B and turn him into Harlan today. Yes. If Mad, if Mad B scores um, a goal today, then I'm, I'm thanking you for it. <laughs> no, no, that's kingy. I'm in my high at the minute, yeah. Just don't fuck up my high. Leave me alone, let me do my thing. I'm enjoying my Saturdays, my Sundays. I'm here on community service. Free the patch, man. So, give me an accumulator today. After last game, I'm putting Boogie score two. That's the only bit I'm doing. Yeah? How much? I lost 100 last week. Yeah. I'll put 200 today then, Done. Come on, hey Boogie, there's some money in you today. Score two goals. No, no, no. You have to. You just have to win. I need your score predictions for today. 5-0. Five 5-0, no. Five no, yeah? 2-0, yeah. No, yeah? What about you? Oh, it's a tough one, so I'm going to go 2-0 as well. 2-0? Two no. Bickley win. 1-1. One, 1-1, one. One, one, yeah? Yeah, yeah. 7-0 the done. <laughs> Scott, to be honest, I need to get your names first of all. Wendy. Wendy. John. Wendy and John. Burgess. So Wendy and John are here every week, now we've got their names. 77 and 75. 77 and 75. 3-1. 3-1. Yeah. 
3 0. Oh, I thought he was going to say 77 no, goals. Yes, G. Bickley. We know a lot about Bickley. I couldn't give a damn who we're playing. At the end of the day, we're in our pre season programme. And the programme is what it is for a reason. Not here as a jolly up, we're here to fucking win. Yeah, last week it was embarrassing. You can see the five goals. Yeah, we won. The vibes was good. It was excellent. We so, showed some good bits in the first 45, but we could see the five goals. So today we have to put that right. If we go in there like it's a jolly up, that's exactly what the score, the score line will play. Let's make sure we go in there serious. Heads on it, working for each other. Get used to having this, boy. It's a bit of a mixed match. Whoever's available is available, isn't it? I don't want to hear this X1 shit. No, we're, this is SC Dons, isn't it? So we're all the same again. So boys, make sure we play well today, man. Like King said, last week weren't good enough, but it's a new week, innit? Round two. Ready? Three, two, one, go! Yes. Yes. So today's lineup, we've gone for a 4 3 3. In between the sticks, we have the skipper, Big G. Right back, we have a Rhino. Two centre backs, we've got Miles, MK47. Left back, we've got a Bull Terrier, Steph. Three middle men, we've got the teenage dirtbag, debut for the first team. We've got the creature and Oz Ten Hag. Three front men, Jay Boogie, Kingy, and Zach Ansar. Super subs. Now, this weekend, a lot of the boys were playing in the FA Cup, which games were on a Sunday. So we got a lot of people unavailable, plus a few injuries. So we got Montel on the bench and JJ. Mont's still coming back from an injury though. And the man I never thought I'd see back in the first team, Mr. Wackett, and also X1's golden boot winner, Young Mad B. So today we're on the dance floor with old rivals, Bickley. So for that, we're gonna ask for 5,000 likes. Like the video while you can. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. We're chasing 250,000 subscribers. Help the Dons on our journey. Let us get there. So yeah, 5K likes. Like the video now, and let's get into it. Okay, what's happening, people? Welcome back to another episode of SE Don Sunday League Football preseason game number two. But as you know, we're fighting men and with DFC three around the corner. We're calling this one round two. Today's opponents, you know all about them. Bickley, old sparring partners of the Dons, old rivals. They just come off the back of winning the Alberton and Bromley League. They're a very organised and structured Sunday League side, and it'll be a tough test for the boys. So it's perfect to get them in pre-season. This is Dons Bickley. I got a big up Joe Courtney, Payne, and Burns, but this ain't no friendly. Let's be honest, it wouldn't be a Dons Bickley affair without a controversial decision from the ref. How's this not a handball? Must be wearing a blue and white vest. Lino! Lino! He's grabbed the ball! Lino, this is done quickly, it ain't a friendly, you know? So, six minutes in, still the early sparring, neither side really dominating. But I've got to give credit where it's due. He's hit this one cleaner than Crawford hit Spence. Man on you now, Reed! So, 1 0 Bickley, spectacular fashion. Let me not lie about it. Nothing the skipper could have done about that. He's hit that perfectly. Fantastic finish. Anyway, Steph will tear out to the left hand side, skips past him. That's a free kick to the Greens. So, free kick for the Dons in a dangerous area as well. Creature stepping over it. You know he can hit him. Fires it in, goes for the near post. Keeper just parries it away. Uh, Oz Ten Hag there to stop the counter. Eventually, Bickley try to play their way out of it and clear it away. We've got a teenage dirtbag on the pitch today, Brad Tastic. I'm so excited to see him this season. I'm sure all of you are as well. Skip past one, skip past another one ever so elegantly. Cuts it back. We've got Ten Hag arriving, edge of the box. Hits it with the inside of the left. Uh, cleaned away from the keeper. But I'm more interested in the, more impressed, sorry, in the reaction. Ten Hag sprinting down, trying to stop them from breaking away. Rhino comes there as well. Ten Hag ain't happy. Ah! He's just done a poo. Who's this? Toby Woods. 12 minutes on a Michael Bublé. To be fair, I think it's been a good response from the Don since they scored. But we shouldn't be going down to be waking up. Anyway, Brad Tastic collects it, shifts it, finds the creature. He tries to slide it through to Kingy. And comment below if you think Kingy should be playing more this season. Yes! I've imagined Because he's the gaffer. Is he not the gaffer now? Yeah, yeah but he made the choice not to play. Kings used to lead the army, but now in the yeah. yeah, the king just wanna fucking sit back and let the army go fight. I respect it. Revert back to the old days, get the king out on the field. Uh, Don't go worry. Fight, boys. You might so 16 minutes in, one apiece. That's four and two for Kingy. He's got to keep them laces on for me. 
And then the teenage dirtbag Brad Tastic gets welcome to a SC Don's Bickley derby. Now we know sides like Bickley are dangerous from set pieces. And they come close there. 45 seconds shy of the 20th minute. MK slides it through to Brad who picks out Kingy. Runs into a little bit of trouble there. And Bickley hit us on the counter. But what would the Don's Bickley game be without a yellow card within the first 20? Free kick then to the blue and white, Skipper gets three men in the wall, he strikes it, that's definitely a handball from Oz Ten Hag, and the referee points to that dot in the middle. I think he's coming this, this corner here. Your confidence is shit right now. Your confidence is shit right now. I can't believe they've given you the chance to take it. I can't believe they've let you take it. He's allowed to talk. He, he can talk, he's allowed to talk. Dark hearts from the skipper. Has it worked? Twenty-three fifty-three. I've seen Dolby do it. Oh my goodness! Tight, tight. So twenty-five minutes in, still one apiece. Uh, Bickley pump it long, and this guy's done something I've seen Ronaldinho do. He just uses his back to pass it inside. The number eleven for Bickley. I don't know his name. I gotta big him up, he was one of the best players on the pitch, he was very very good. Anyway, MK47 picks out Creature, dirtbag to his right but he opts to his left hand side and pulls out the Bull Terrier. Gets a chance to run at the Bull fullback, see what he's about as he cuts inside. Uh, lets it fly, keeper's done well to parry it away to be fair. Uh, number 5 I think that was, clears it away. Steph comes in like a wrecking ball as he knocks over the number 20. And he does that speedboat stuff with no driver, he just knocks it off the pitch. 30 minutes on the dashboard, corner whipped in from Bickley, cleared away. And as I've been saying, we've got a new culture at the moment. It's a want to be here culture. And even though we're light today, all these players want to be here. And Rhino proves that as he throws himself at it. Takes a ball in the throat, pulls. As number 12 kick, uh, collects it, switches out the play. It's good pressure here at the moment from Bickley. They've got a bit of momentum at the moment. As I said, tough side, they're showing us why they won the Auburnton League. Uh, it's whipped in, Big G collects it though. He's got Rhino to his right, Steph to his left, but he throws it through and picks out Creature. Stay Another high controversial high moment. High Jay Boogie says that he was pushed over. Brad's through on goal, Jay Boogie just slags him out. He says he was pushed. We have another little look back at the replay. Not too sure about this, Boogers. Thirty-two, thirty. I'm noticing the Dons are getting a lot of joy when we just start moving it quickly. They're struggling to keep up with us. All them boys in the middle can play. They slid it through to King, an opportunity for a brace. But he fires it over. Unlucky, unlucky. Unlucky, unlucky. 33 on a rocking chair. Another long one over the top from Bickley. MK gets there before Jordy. It's a handball, so it's a free kick to them. I'll be honest, is it it well? Some of you are here to see the teenage dirtbags debut for the first team. Others are here for the tackles. Never, never. Hey. 39-03, and as I said, we're getting joy when we're moving the ball, when we're keeping it on the floor, moving it quickly. They're struggling to keep up with us. Uh, MK47 collects it and he picks up Brad Tastic. Nice little touch into Zach Ansar. He finds Brad again, lets it run for Creature. Good quick fee here. It's lovely football to be fair. Creature shoots. Good effort. Corner for the Dons. I say it every week, the Dons is a family club. I love the fact that the boys sit at home with their family, their girlfriends, their children, and they watch the episodes. Oz watches it every week with his whole family. Probably shouldn't have left this one in. Oz, oh, there's no boards there. Ah! An important reminder, the Dons are homeless. We don't have a home ground. So if you have a facility or no other facility where the Dons can use for the home games, please get in touch. We get benefited highly, we bring a lot of supporters to games, they will spend money in your bar. However, we did receive an email from someone saying that a football went through their front window and hit their dog. I don't know what they was talking about. And I saw this clip. 45 minutes in, last few moments of the half, King picks out Creature. And instead of turning out, he sort of runs into a little bit of trouble, dodgy pass back. And he nearly catches Big G stranded. But the half-time whistle does go, it's Essie Don's one. Bickley won. It's a, it's a no, nothing fast. Hey, I just heard I got an award at, at the at the presentation. It's a bit weird how you become Exxon manager and you're, you've got an award. <laughs> <laughs> and this is a man that's transitioned his lifestyle and represents this this badge, this brand, this family very well. So please, let's just give him a round of applause. 
It's more about him. It's you know the season's coming back. Huh? You know the season's coming back. That's what I have to find more, Chris. That's why I got my Don's body warmer. Because as you can see, English summer's a bit mad. So it's kind of cold, but it's keeping me warm. I want to know where you got yours. There's two things that we're doing that's killing ourselves. One, too many touches. And we're all guilty of it, especially in central areas. And two, it comes down to relationships. So if you look, when we watch back the game, you'll see a lot of times that we're giving the ball away, it's because the person that's on the ball is passing to where they think the person should be, but not where they're gonna be. And we're developing new relationships mm. in a new system. It's growing pains and it's gonna happen. Just be patient with each other and understand if someone wants to talk to somebody, just do it in the right manner, but just listen. It's not a criticism, no one's getting on to you. Just listen, take the instructions on board and we move on. It's fucking football, we're here for 90 minutes. Someone's gonna shout, someone's gonna scream. Deal with it, if you don't like it, then we speak to each other afterwards. But when we're on the pitch, everyone just wants the same thing. We want a great result for SE Dons. That's what everybody here wants. That's what I believe in my heart that everybody here wants. So understand that everyone's got the passion to get that result. Jig, do you want to add anything? Um, no, I talk to people individually. Thingy, just from the back going forward, yeah? Has it, has it. gonna come on for me, it's the only change. Let's go. Mad B up top. My bro. Hey, Mad B, don't, don't, Mad B, pause. Mad B up top against Big Clear. Anyone else want to be good to say? Nah, nah, nah. We've got to enjoy ourselves out here. It's pre-season as well. It's a chance to try things. Good to see you, Let's go, yeah? Don't get your wings up top against Big Clear, you know? Hey, that's our title. Mad's up top. Let's go. Hey, three, two, one, done. Done of the week. Now we must pause the whole video. Because this week's Don of the Week is a very special young lady. Maisie turns a big seven years old. She comes down every single week with the whole family. She smiles, she gives us fantastic energy, and she even featured on Princess Cam last week. So big happy birthday to you, Maisie. We love you, we're behind you, and we love seeing you at the games. So enjoy your birthday. Blackout Collection! It's the blackout season, and we're stocked up in all sizes, and we're shipping worldwide. We've got a blackout hat. We got a blackout training tee, and we got the body warmers. And while you're there, go and grab your Valhalla's, Galacticos, and anything else. The shop's stocked up. We're cooking on them. So, second half begins. Another 45 minutes under our belts. Important for the tanks and the engines of the players. Uh, Steph Bultera picks up and picks out Zach Ansar. Slides one across to Oz Ten Hag. Rhino out to the right, but he picks out Ants again. Tries to slide it through to Mad B. He's not on his page, but this is what Mad B does bring, though. Hustle and work rate chases him down and wins a corner for the Dons. A teenage dirtbag, in my opinion, one of the best players on the whole pitch. Here he is getting welcomed to a Bickley Dons derby. 50-56, Ten Hag drops one in, short to Rhino. Gives it back to Ten Hag, he's got Creature just behind him, but he whips one in, Boogie rises, falls down to Steph Bull Terrier. And the shot goes out for a throw on. Some of you just here for the tackles. Oh, 57-57, bit of an even half, a bit similar to the first half to be fair. Um, both teams kind of in the game, no one really dominating. I think we're slightly the better side at the moment. Uh, Matt B gets his body in the way though and it comes through to Creature. He's driving forward, number six following him but he cuts back. He pulls it over to Steph Ball Terry, I can't get out of his feet quick enough. The keeper collects it. 60-57, about half an hour left to go. Don's warming into the half, Ten Hag picks up Brad Tastic. He's driving forward, he cuts inside. Tries to slide one through to Zach Answer, but I don't think he read it. Uh, defender does well to step in, to be fair, and it's a break now. Counter from Bickley. Number 20 collects it and slides one just inside for Jordy Greaves. Gets out of his feet. It's a goal for Bickley. So 2-1 to Bickley, but as I said, it's pre-season and this is our chance to actually have a proper pre-season. By that I mean, it's actually not so important about the result, it's more about the performance. What we can learn from it, the new uh, formations that we're trying, the new partnerships we're trying. So what can we take from this and learn from it, which will benefit us in the campaign, as opposed to just trying to make sure we win and it doesn't matter how we learn. So that doesn't mean we don't want to win, don't get it twisted. We've never lost to Bickley, so we want to win this game and we've got more than enough time to do so. Anyway, MK picks up Brad Tastic, it's more from the Dons. Uh, he's giving it over to Steph, it's an instant response since their goal. He looks to cut inside and he picks out Jay Boogers. Jay Boogie gets out of his feet and slaps it. That's a penalty to the Dons. Jay Boogie steps up. 
people's champion. If we get a penalty, he has to take it. Yeah. He's the club. If we get X one's first team, he's the club penalty taker. No, still. He's the club penalty taker. The whole club. The whole club. If he's on the pitch, he has to take it. <laughs> So 20 minutes to go, we make four changes, giving everyone a chance to get a run out. We're seeing the return of Mr. Wackett, a legend. We've got JJ coming on, Monty's coming back from injury, and even Fat Jigger himself. And off comes Oz Ten Hag, Zach Ansar, Jay Boogie, and the Creature. Just to clear things up, Sil Benson, Mr. Wackett, played a major role in the signing of the Creature. And in a contract, he did put that an appearance was due for him. So therefore, we're just filling his contract duties, and he's on a pitch. Now I've seen some people in the comments saying that Rhino's noises at the fives aren't real and that Chris just puts in some kind of sound effects. Explain this then. <laughs> now to be honest, since the four changes it has been all bickly. Uh, the flow of the game has kind of swung in their favour. They're enjoying the midfield battle, it's whipped in, Big G parries it. And that's a goal for them, 3-2 Bickley. <laughs> So a bit of a wild few minutes at the moment, everyone seems a little bit unorganised. Miles turns in to try and pick out MK but it's a loose pass. Uh, Bickley collect it, knock it out wide to the wide man, he looks up and fires one into the box. And that's 4-2 Bickley. So very quickly the game has swung in Bickley's favour but I've got to give them credit, they've been very good. They're a very good outfit, a very good side. They can see why they won the league. And this is why we wanted to play a team like this to get a good test for the boys. Uh, anyway, Rhino collects it. There's more than enough time to get Sank out of this game. He picks up Monts. He's got JR just beside him. Uh, Brad lets it off. It's just gone wide. A fun fact, JR used to love chicken, but he's a vegan now. Doesn't eat meat. Let me show you. 87-29 again since they've scored, it's been a good response, it's been all the Dons were applying the pressure but as expected they're kind of sitting back and inviting it on, Rhino whips it in, falls back post to Steph Ball Terrier but he shanks it. So a minute and a bit into extra time it is looking like it's going to be a Bickley victory, they've never beaten us man, but as I said it's pre-season it's about not so much the result, taking what we can learn from the game, what worked and what didn't. Anyway, it's a fantastic run from MK, by the way. Taking it from our box into theirs. Got to cut that back for Brad. Goes for Goldo. So with a full-time whistle about to go, round two of pre-season is going to end with a loss. 4-2 to our old rivals, Bickley. So lots of positives to take from that game. Also negatives that we can learn from. But it all feels good, man. The vibe is good, trust me. So don't panic over the loss. We know what we're doing. There's a campaign, there's a project. We know what we're trying to find out from this pre-season. Um, so big up all the boys that could be there. Obviously there was a lot unavailable, but everyone that was there deserves the shirt and wants to be here. Got a big up Bickley. That was a tough test as expected and we wish them all the best for next season. Right now as you're watching this episode, we're head to head with Bay Tees in East London. Um, it'll be too late for you to make it if you haven't made it already, but that episode will be live next Sunday. Anyway, have a fantastic week. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Remember, please do subscribe to the channel. We're chasing 250,000 subscribers. So if you're not subscribed, subscribe. If you have to make a YouTube channel, do it and subscribe for us. 5,000 likes as well, and we'll see you next week. Disappointing result. Awful, awful result. Um, listen, I don't want to be too negative, especially on a, on a Sunday. But at the end of the day, our commitment to go and press, especially in our own half, it's just not there. The intensity to win the ball back, it's not there as a team, it's not good enough. It's really not good enough. We can't start the season like that. If we start the season like that, we might as well just pack it in now, because that's bullshit, that's not commitment. And I've spoken to everybody on the phone about their commitment, and that's, that's not it. But the most important thing today, and the most disappointing thing, is our intensity without the ball. It's just not there at the minute. And that's what we need to bring come next week. Because if we do, if we do that again next week, we're gonna get fucking spanked. And nobody fucking wants that against Bay Tees. Fucking Odom. Right, hey, big up uh, Mad B, JR, um, Sil for coming to step in as well, doing us a job, man. And that's what this is about, boys. As G said at the start, yeah, this is one big club. We could we can look around and see 13 people putting X's, yeah. Let's be honest about it. It's, it's not good enough, and that's fine. But you lot want to be here, and that's what's amazing about seeing you all here. And there is going to be times we're going to see people from the X ones involved in this squad. 
But yeah, listen, just to touch on it, I'm, I'm not as much tactical as everyone else. I think it's important we get the minutes out. It's, it's not good to lose, so it's, it's good that we all feel this way because it's, you know, we, we want to have a game. But it, next week is a big one, boys. It's a, it's a big one, so we've got to be up for it. It's an early kickoff as well, man, all the way embarking. So um, we'll put the details in this week. But yeah, well done, man. It is what it is. We're moving it. Three, two, one, done. Why these nerds are screaming out, gang? My shooters like United don't sleep on them, they ten go bang. I was in Rio with Gio, found me a wife with a golden tan. I'm the kid with a golden plan. Came from the trap, it was cold and damp. Now I'm in Park Row with dams. London City is burning, and the pig's still lurking. Car like Chelsea, I'm bringing in Sterling. 